party people it's me and B and I am back here with another video today's video I'm going to show you all three ways that I put all of my hair in a bun so I hope you enjoy this video I've been getting questions on how I put my afro <laughs> in a bun for work so I'm going to show you all the three ways that I do and I hope you enjoy them first things first I usually detangle my hair and then put oil a little bit of oil on my hair so that's what I've done, and I have eight plaques all over my head. So, and that way it's easier and it's already detangled from when I put it down. Get in the bowling. And I just take them down. My hair is very, very thick. So, let's just get right into it. First, I'm going to start off by doing two braids in the front with a braided bun. Yes, I have thin hair right here. Hair, it doesn't really grow, but it's always been like that. I don't know why, but oh well. Go ahead and put it back into a bun when I put it in there, like a little ratchet ponytail, and then I add my gel till I try to mold it. And I'm using the extreme wet line gel for a soft hold since I'm gonna be changing it up a little bit. That pretty much sets it. Then I'll take it down. Get a big old hair tie. Go to the back. Pull the braids in. Then I will split it into two sections to create my braids. it all the way down then to the other side <laughs> I almost started twisting all right now have two ponytails Oh, I messed up my. It's a little ratchet right there, but you can finish that suit. I put it up under one of the sparkies. I grab a hair tie. Hopefully 
hopefully you all can see that. I do that break line, it helps me get like a little bit of less breakage on the ends of my hair. And so I try not to use bobby pins as much, because when you're pushing bobby pins, bobby pins into your hair, it also is breaking off certain strands of hair if it get caught or whatever. So I try to use scrunchies as much as possible. Oh, but you get the gist braids. And you can do these every day a little bit if you want to. To like um, all of your edges, if your edges are thinning a little bit, but it also helps keep your from pulling your um, edges to the back. You can do two braids in the front of your hair, and then a braid bun instead of a sock bun. This is number one way that I do my hair. Now let's go to the next one. Right now, I'm gonna leave my hair in the bun from the bun before. And we're just gonna switch these to pretty much the same thing, but with two twists. With this one, I'm gonna do a black twist. Them up, them up. And same thing. I usually do about three twists, but for the sake of the video, I'm only going to do two. And that is how I do the twist. And then last but not least, I'm gonna do the original, all together just straight up military donut bun. I have one of those little scrunchy buns inside of here and then I have two socks on top of it. The long, as my hair grows, the bigger I make my donut because I hate when I see just as much hair around the donut as I do on the donut. So the bigger my hair gets, the bigger the donut gets, in my opinion. So yeah, I hate when I see a tiny donut and then it's like three inches of hair wrapped around it. It hurts my nerves. Like just just make your bun bigger, sis. Just make it bigger. When I do like a bun bun, I use this gel. And since it is Sunday and I'm doing my hair for real. I'm going to use this instead of the wet line because this has a much, much, much stronger hold. So. My bun last week was like this, so was to the side. So this week I'm gonna do it in the middle. So every time you do a bun, try to switch your parts up so you don't have like those little thinning spots. You're probably still gonna get them, but if you switch your parts up, you don't have to worry about it as much how I did in the beginning I slick my hair down like how I want it to go I put on a scrunchie so I can mold how the way I want my bun to go I take my gel and I apply
Hadi. There's a ponytail. In case you, you obviously can see that I have big hair. And this is a tiny little hope. So what I do is I put a scrunchie going downward on my hair so that I can fit my hair into the little hole without having to struggle for an hour in a day. Put it going down. Then I use this. Put the hair through the donut. Remove the hair tie. This bun may look a little ratchet because I can't actually see the back of my head. I'm not going to put gel on the bun part right now because I don't sleep with the bun in my head, but I'm going to show you. <laughs> I grab the excess hair to try to twist it around the bun. Whatever. Take in the ends or whatever. And then I grab a scrunchie. Whatever. Grab a scrunchie. And then put it around my hair. I think it messed up, but it's not perfect because I can't see, but you get the gist of what I did to put my hair in the bun. Yeah, it's not heavy or whatever. Okay, you get the gist of how I did it, even though it may look a little ratchet or whatever, but since I'm not trying to make it perfect at this moment, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you can do either one of these three styles on your natural hair. And now you see how I get my thick hair through my donut by using the scrunchie. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out, party people.